Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making an Australian themed flip book um, and I just got this little book from a Flow magazine and I've just pulled it apart um, and I'm just redecorating the cover. So this flip book today I'm going to be sending to a girl that I've been writing to via email um, and we're going to be both swapping a um, package and the theme is our home country so I'll be getting hers from Trinidad and she'll be getting one from me and mine's going to be an Australian themed. So I've just got a map, like a poster and it was an Australian poster so it was a map and I just collaged the front of the flow cover. I also have a few things I got in the mail. So I got this postcard in the mail um, and then I'm cutting up some images I got out of the flow magazine. Um, so I also cut out the New South Wales state of um, Australia because I really wanted to show her where I'm from. So as you can see here, I'm just cutting out little um, speech bubble kind of things. So I put two little stickers of little girls standing in Sydney and also in my hometown in Lennox Head and I've just wrote on these little speech bubbles um, where I'm from or I think I wrote my hometown and then at the bottom um, I wrote where I'm living or something similar to that I can't quite remember um, so after I did this I've just packed everything away and I'm gonna put the book back together now because I'm gonna glue the New South Wales state in the center of the book so as you can see, I'm just trimming up the edges here um, and I'm going to fold it back together and I'm going to actually sew it because it was originally stapled but I couldn't find a staple. I really need to invest in one. Um, but I really like the aesthetic of sewing so it looks really nice and crafty and handmade. So I've sewn it back together and then I've just got a little bit of my craft PVA glue and I've just glued down um, the little strings that were um, coming out so hopefully that will keep the book nice and sturdy so now I'm just gluing that map back into the center of the book and um, I just really want to make sure that it's not going to fall apart so I've put a lot of glue in this book so hopefully it doesn't bubble too much um, and a few people have asked me um, about the glue I use basically it's only because I ran out of my glue stick that I've chosen to use the craft glue but it is really nice and sturdy glue and it doesn't bubble too much it does make the pages a little bit wavy but um, if you guys know of any glue that doesn't do that then that would be lovely <laughs> let me know in the comments below um, so I'm just gluing these back down and I'm also going to decorate every single page of this flip book um, before I do that I've just got some washi tapes um, and a little bit of this um, basking tape so I've popped that on the crease lines of the book just so the strings um, don't come out because I didn't sew it um, enough that the book would like I felt like the book would rip a little bit if they didn't have that extra sturdiness so I've popped really thick washi tape um, in the fold lines of the book and then I've just trimmed it up to make it um, look nice and pretty so now I'm just decorating the cover here and as you can see I'm using the um, image that I cut out of the Flow magazine, um, a few little cutouts that I've got in my craft box and um, I've also pasted an Australian um, stamp in the corner there, I don't know if you can see that, I popped that in. So once I do that little collage I'm actually going to stick this little flower on top of the book. Um, and I'm gonna like seal it down with a wax seal just because glue wouldn't really um, allow it to stick on properly so I've got a little wax seal here and um, my stamp is a little B <laughs> so I got this from Melbourne in a really cute boutique stationery store and I really love wax seals so um, if you can find one that you love I use them all the time um, when I'm sealing things so um, yeah, I really liked that effect of sealing um, little pieces of either um, pressed flowers or even this flower. Hopefully it will get pressed in the mail. So I'm, I'm not expecting it to be nice and, um, what's the word, like plump? I don't know. Like um, It will definitely end up being flat when it gets sent. 
So as you can see, I'm now just doing little collages throughout the book um, and I'm actually sticking down a few Polaroids I've taken around my area, so um, around Narrabeen Lake and at the beach and things like that. So I'm sticking them down and I'm also using a lot of um, Australian stamps that I've got out of my little stamp collection. Um, I actually haven't collected these stamps myself. I got a huge stamp collection from an op shop, so um, also known as thrift shop if you're from America. So opportunity stores are just like thrift stores, they're exactly the same. So I've also made a little collage in the back of the book here. So I've included um, a few little washi samples and I've included a few little bits and pieces from my own stationery collection. Um, I haven't actually done a little washi sample in a while. I always get washi samples from you guys, so I need to keep remembering to put those in. So I've popped them in a little pocket. It's a clear pocket, which is um, really nice. I actually got this little pocket from a pen pal. So I like to re-gift, not re-gift, but kind of re-craft um, lots of the things you guys give me. So I've popped in all the little goodies um, and now I'm just going to pretty much wrap it all up for you guys. And that's it, that's the package. So I also included a few little Australian goodies in this, so a few little Australian stamps. Um, and yeah, I hope she really enjoys this little Australian themed package. So I've also written a few little things inside and then I'll include the letter at the end. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and let me know what kind of snail mail um, videos you want me to make in the future. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!